so uh, my one probably the most influential mentor for me was uh, a professor by the name of Martin Martell. Martin Martell was the sociologist at Brown University, uh, and I met him in my sophomore year. Uh, and the reason why he was so important is because I was a first-generation college student. Uh, so I knew really nothing about college, nothing about being in the Ivy League. Uh, when I got there, I was uh, intimidated. I was intimidated because I was surrounded by so many rich kids who'd gone to elite private schools. Uh, one of my classmates was a kid named John F. Kennedy Jr. And that'll just give you a sense of the kind of people I was going to school with. Um, but I, I responded to feeling um, uh, out of place by just being even more aggressive in the way I pursued my education. And so um, I took this introduction to sociology class with Mar Martel, and I always had a lot of questions. I always wanted to engage him because we were learning about the kinds of things in his class that I cared about, um, about inequality in society and why society worked the way it did, about race and justice. And uh, so I had lots of questions for him, and uh, he invited me to come see him in office hours. Now, this was at a time when uh, professors were still smoking cigarettes, um, both in class and in their offices. So to see him, I meant I had to deal with that cigarette smoke because he was a chain smoker. Uh, he also was a very long-winded person, so he would talk for long periods of time. But I knew early on that I could learn from him. And uh, so I often feel as though I was fortunate to have the humility to know I needed to be mentored, right? To know that um, even though we came from very different backgrounds, he was a, an older Jewish professor from New York like me, um, he was able to both introduced me to ideas, uh, particularly related to social theory that were very important to me, but also then to open up opportunities for me that I didn't even know existed. Uh, if it weren't for him, I would have never gotten a PhD in sociology. He was the one who encouraged me and specifically encouraged that I go and uh, go to Berkeley. He said, you need to go to Berkeley. Berkeley is a place where you're gonna thrive. And though I'd never even been to California uh, before, I decided to apply to Berkeley and, uh, and uh, several other places. And when I was admitted, I decided to go. And, and so I give uh, Mark Martell a lot of credit for having uh, exposed me to opportunities in education that I didn't know existed. Uh, the other influential mentor for me was uh, Troy Duster. Troy Duster uh, is also a sociologist. I met him at Berkeley. And when I first met him, I was a little suspicious. I was suspicious because uh, there weren't too many black professors in my department. He was one of them. Uh, Harry Edwards was in some ways better known because of his role in race and sports. Troy was a kind of more low key guy and he ran an institute called the Institute for the Study of Social Change. And at the time I thought to myself, who would allow you to create an institute where you study social change? This must be a, a CIA front group. Uh, and so I was suspect of him. Um, but the more I got to know him, the more I came to appreciate uh, the role he played. He was a very, and still is, um, very measured, very thoughtful, very wise uh, individual. Um, didn't react quickly to what was going on around us. And turned out to be a great advisor to me. I, I became, a, um, I continued being an activist while a student uh, at Berkeley. I became a student body president, I was elected. And uh, this was during the anti-apartheid movement, lots of protests going on on campus, lots of riots by the police, as we're seeing today. Uh, and Troy advised me on how to approach it, how to work with the chancellor, how to build coalitions with people and groups. And he proved to be very, very important um, because I needed the counsel of someone who was, uh, who had, had been, who was older, wiser, more mature, and um, wasn't as easy frazzled by what was going on around us, uh, wasn't just reacting to things. And, uh, and so I, I really value that. And Troy is actually still a mentor and advisor to me to this day.